डिटेल वेर आर एस एस इज नेताजी लोहो प्रणाम प्रोग्राम दैट इज नाउ बीन स्केड्यूल टू ऑफर ट्रिब्यूट टू नेताजी सुभाष चंद्र बोस अहेड ऑफ इज बर्थ जनवरी एनिवर्सरी ऑन ट्वेंटी थर्ड ऑफ जनवरी मेजर सावरकर वर्सेज नेताजी राव इज नाउ ब्रूइंग इन द स्टेट दिस आफ्टर दी आर एस एस चीफ मोहन भागवत वो अराइव इन कोलकाता हेड ऑफ द बिग रैली टू पे हिस्स ट्रिब्यूट टू नेताजी सुभाष चंद्र बोस ऑन इज बर्थ एनिवर्सरी वेर दिस इज द फर्स्ट सच ग्रैंड सेलिब्रेशन ऑफ नेताजी बाय दी आर एस एस speaking to times now over the same netaji's grand nephew chandra bose has now welcomed the rss attempting to celebrate netaji's birth anniversary but reminded bohan bhagwat that need they need to dump savarkar first and the image as far as targeting india's veer savarkar as communal chandra bose is a kin netaji subhash chandra bose and his kin has been saying that you cannot equate savarkar and netaji as their ideologies do not match RSS promotes hindutva RSS promotes you see netaji was a devout hindu i must also clarify these issues he was a devout hindu he was a ma kali bhakt he used to go late at night to dakhineshwar temple and used to pray in front of goddess kali but when it came to politics when it came to fighting for india's freedom he never never brought religion into politics rss promotes hindutva rss promotes you see netaji was a devout hindu i must also clarify these issues he was a devout hindu he was a ma kali bhakt he used to go late at night to dakhineshwar temple and used to pray in front of goddess kali but when it came to politics when it came to fighting for india's freedom he never never brought religion into politics if you oppose netaji's ideology it is no point garlanding his statue it is no point celebrating his birthday what is the message that you send to the nation one who celebrates netaji's birthday is the one who unites all communities as bharatiyas there is no differentiation among communities in netaji's concept of bharat our national leaders because they don't have any one revolutionary was there with them uh, sabharkar but he was denounced by the indians uh, subsequently because of his uh, seeking clemency from the british administration not once not twice but thrice or four times after that he got the clemency therefore they don't have any credible <coughs> name with their party or organization to show that they fought for the freedom of this country how come that rss which is a hindu fundamentalist organization Uh, they are accepting netaji which was absolutely out and out a secular person mal with us on the phone line thamal now history lessons are being taught here what happened in the past uh, is there no place for that in the future and in the present with the rss chief attending this program to mark his tribute to netaji subhash chandra bose well absolutely uh, rss chief mohan bhagwat would be attending the public meeting here in kolkata on 23rd of january a date which also coincides with netaji subhash chandra bose's birth anniversary and uh, the day is dedicated to netaji even by rss folk they also question the intent and they say that savarkar and shyam prasad mukherjee along with netaji cannot go hand in hand hmm. that they should first dump savarkar before embracing netaji subhash chandra bose well it has been said even by the netaji. prime minister on previous occasion as well if we talk about an equate the ideologies it is about nation building which has been lent a lot of hand and the contribution that have been made by leaders like savarkar and netaji subhash chandra bose for the moment tamal thanks very much for joining in let's quickly move on